In this video, we will be demonstrating the composite beam sets available for use with the beam apparatus and the Euler buckling apparatus in the strength of materials range from Tech Equipment. Composite materials with specific properties are common in many industries such as aerospace, sports, civil engineering and automotive. Right here I have a wishbone from a race car and this is a prime example of how blended composites are used in the real world. Fibre reinforced composite materials are lightweight, stiff, strong and have good fatigue and impact resistance. They also have the added benefit of being able to tailor their properties to match the specific needs of their application by changing constituent material types and manufacturing parameters such as tow, weave type, resin or manufacturing method. For carbon composite materials, a variety of carbon fibre architectures can be obtained by using two-dimensional and three-dimensional fabric production techniques such as weaving, knitting, braiding, stitching and non-woven methods. Each fibre architecture form results in a specific configuration of mechanical and performance properties of the resulting composites and determines the end use possibilities. Tech Equipment offers three composite beam sets for varying depths of study. Stephen Hillier, aerospace design engineer who specialises in composites, joins us to explain more about the use of different types of composites in the real world. Composite materials are all around us from reinforced concrete used in the building trade to ceramic matrix composites used in the high pressure gas turbine. The aerospace industry is going through a composite revolution. Fan blades, as seen behind me, are a great study example looking at the evolution and interplay of materials and geometry. They need the correct balance of stiffness to move compressed air through the bypass ducts and the core engine with sufficient high strain rate flexibility to withstand impacts as seen in bird strikes. The basic composite beam set includes four composite beams, three of which constitute of unidirectional tape, a fibre architecture where all fibres run in one direction only. But each has fibre that runs at different alignment angles. One that has a zero degree alignment, i.e. runs straight, another that alternates from zero to 90 degrees, and this one here that alternates at 45 degrees. The fourth beam in this basic set is a fully woven fabric architecture. The four relatively basic constructed composite beams provide students with an introduction to carbon composites. They allow comparisons between simple composites which enable students to determine flexural rigidity. And what I really mean by this is the stiffness of a material when subjected to bending. You can also look at the Young's modulus and the beam deflection. As well as this, you can compare the different constructions against each other and alongside steel beams of the same cross-section supplied as standard with a teaching apparatus. Let's focus now on the cord composite beam set. These four beams introduce students to cord composites, each of which, as a result of their different core, have different bending characteristics. There's a couple of cord beams with a different thickness of foam layer, a honeycomb beam and a solid carbon composite beam. As you can see, there's an outer high strength carbon skin and sandwiched within this is the foam core. This is particularly useful when weight is an issue. There's also the benefit of thermal conductivity and sound insulation. This is commonly used in boats, trucks, cars, wind turbine blades and building panels. Honeycomb in particular is used extensively in the aerospace and transportation industry because it offers extremely lightweight panels. Now we're going to look at variable beams. This is a set of three beams that takes the study of carbon composite materials to the next level. With these, you can look at the bending characteristics of beams that have varied construction along their length. In the real world, blended structures can be created to manage the buckling of flat and curved panels as there is the potential to almost double the buckling load by redistributing the load paths in the fundamental pre-buckling state. What this really means is that the composite structure can be created so that the middle of the panel where the buckling waves occur is offloaded to the edges of the panel which will be more supported. The Aerospace Engineering blog has an excellent article on this topic that you can find in the links below. For more information about the composite beam packs for use with the beam apparatus and the Euler buckling apparatus, click on the links in the description box below. 
Now, don't forget to subscribe to TechQuitman's YouTube channel to see all our latest videos and participate in our regular live streamed events. Thank you for watching. Thank you.